quick disclaimer before we get into the video what is going to be talked about right now can be applied to pretty much any other champion and any other lane with a few minor adjustments right or like when i will be walking up for minions like this you can also be looking to to, to time your e does that make sense yeah Okay, you first need to, to, to time your E with some sort of uh, an ability that I'll be going for. Basically, when I will be secured to be somewhere in some sort of place. Make sense? And not to simply just try to predict where I'm going to be. Okay? Okay. Because this way you're just trying your luck. It's like you're just, you know, spinning the roulette and just trying your luck. Do you know what the result is going to be at the end? No, it's not in your hands. Right? Like, there, there are no clues which tell you, okay, like, most likely he'll be going for this. Alright? So when I'll be walking up for a minion, it, it is going to be much, but much more different regarding your E usage. Because you will know, okay, approximately I'll be around the area of this minion. Right? So you can place your E over there, and then I have to make the decision. Do I walk up for this minion, or do I give it up? Right? Because if I walk up and I take it, I will take damage. If of not, course. then I miss the minion. This way you are forcing me, you are forcing me to make a decision. If you will not be applying pressure to me in some sort of way, forcing me to make a decision, right? Then what's the point? So basically I have to like stay close to your to the minions that you will last hit. Yes, to, but, but to not too combo. but not too close as well because let me show you an example. Okay. So Let's say I'll be walking up for this minion over here at the front, see, which, which gets low on HP. Uh -huh. If you stay way too far up, let's say if you stay here approximately, then you will not give me space to walk up. If you'll stay right behind the minion, then the majority of people, like in Uriel and a bit higher, what they do is they start feeling comfortable, right? Like if you stay here and the minion that I want to take is right this, uh, I mean, uh, like this one in front of, in front of me, right? Mm -hmm. If I stay behind it, and then you are over here from this side. I I am much more comfortable walking up to get it. If you are serious about ranking up and feel stuck, forgiving that coaching dot com is the right place for you. You can be assured with high quality coaching, many options to choose from, flexible work hours, and because we believe in what we do, we offer a money back guarantee if you fail to reach your goals while actively following our guidance. Don't believe me? Check out the results and what our students have to say. So what are you waiting for? Try this key by clicking the link in the description below and get the run you've always been dreaming of. Get it. Because I you see, are farther it. away from me. Does it make sense? But it, mm -hmm. but you also don't want don't want to make the mistake to be way too far back like this. Because then, you do you see how much distance you have to cover? From this point yes. up to this point. Right? And then you won't be able to just react. Or like to be there in time. But if you're going to be right behind the mirror like this, see? I know you want to take this one and I simply stay here. Right? I force you to make a decision, like do you walk up for it or like, do you not? Like, right. Yeah, just right behind the minion. Right? In range where you can react as quickly as possible. Make sense? See? It makes sense. Kinda like that. Like I'm right behind the minion. Right? I'm still able to what? react in time and if you walk up, boom. Right? You just poke me. Okay. Exactly. And you can be looking to do the same with your with your E. Or your EQ combo, right? Because if you land E plus Q, then the rest simply falls into place.